Okay then, so let's have a look in detail on tonight's show at Matlock Town FC in the MPL Premier Division because, uh, well, it's been a very eventful past few days for the club. So uh, a few days ago, it was announced that Martin Carruthers had uh, resigned from his managerial role at the Gladiators. And then not too long afterwards, it was confirmed he'll be taking over for the remainder of this season. And that's uh, club legend Adam Yates and also former Matlock Town manager, Mark Atkins, and so Atkins will be returning to the club uh, at least for the rest of this season. I'm delighted to say that we're joined by Mark Atkins right now. Uh, Mark, first of all, uh, how are you today? I guess this is a very busy Easter weekend for you. Yes, it's been very hectic. I must say that since uh, since I got asked to to join the club in on uh, Monday night, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, something like that. The days have just passed me by at the minute. But uh, yeah, it's been very hectic. We've been trying to get players in, and you know, for the deadline day yesterday. Um, so it, it's been hard going, but uh, you know, it's still very enjoyable. This this job, you can't beat it. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, well, I, I guess the first question is really how how easy a decision was it to come back? Because okay, I know you've not been involved in a managerial role for quite some time, but uh, when you were asked about the possibility of coming back to Matlock. For the rest, of the, for the rest of this season, alongside Adam Yates, was it uh, an easy decision to say yes? I'll I'll help out for the rest of this season. Uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a, a, a straight yes. You know, what I mean, it's some things I had to think about because obviously I've been working for the BBC on on radio commentary for, for the last nine years, mm. and uh, you know, what I mean, I, I I had to cancel a few games to to take this this job. So it's it's not been great, but I have been looking into things for the last couple of years, and it's, it's been. Uh, something I probably wanted to get back into if I could, uh, mm. you know, the management side of things. Uh, it's totally, you know, you definitely miss it when you come out. Uh, but mm. I've had a, I've had a great time with the with the radio and uh, the BBC. Still wants us to keep us on and, you know, we'll see what happens, uh, you know, with next year after what we do in these eight games. But uh, you know, once once I'd thought about it, once I spoke to my wife, uh, it was probably an easy decision then to say yes. Let's just do it with it being just eight games. OK, and uh, it's incredible how things work out in football sometimes, isn't it? So uh, you were the manager uh, in your first stint at Matlock Town that brought the club legend Adam Yates to the club uh, as a teenager when he was at Shirebrook Town, I think after he impressed in a, in a pre-season friendly or a Derbyshire Senior Cup game. And now you're managing the club with him. Um, what What do you see your role as for the rest of this season? Is it... As well as obviously being in joint charge, do you see yourself as being almost like a, a mentor to Adam Yates? Because, of course, this will be his first ever experience of being a, a manager. Yeah, I think that's that's the case, really. I, you know, I mean, obviously, we signed Adam from a Derbyshire Senior Cup game where, where we played Shire, but kind of wet, wet, muddy Tuesday night. And he was the one that stood out on the pitch in both teams. So mm. we signed him, and uh, you know he's never looked back since then. He's been a great servant to this football club, and uh, you know he, he he's been a good friend. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he, he has been one of my players, but he's also obviously been a good friend. We 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 spoke, you know, numerous times during the time when I've not been involved, and uh, you know he's good. But yeah, I think he he, he obviously can't step into the management role straight away. Mm. It, it's a case of you know you do need you know I had probably six years as an assistant before I took the first manager job at, at Matlock. And that's mm-hmm. where you learn the things that you don't really know about. So, you know, it's good to get get him involved in, with with myself and, you know, we, we see what we can do. But, uh, you know, the main thing is that he has got to play because he's one of the better players. Mm. And uh, you, you mentioned before about the deadlines. There is actually a deadline as well for uh, for all non-league clubs too at every level there. And so uh, very recently, Matlock have brought in a couple of players uh, since Martin Carruthers resigned and yourself and Yatesy have, have taken over. Uh, so uh, Liam Hardy is back at Matlock Town, uh, a well-known player at non-league level, a very good striker as well. And also, I hope I've pronounced this right, uh, Jack De uh on loan from yeah. Doncaster Rovers. What, what can you tell us about uh, both of those players coming to the club? Well, Jack's a young lad who's, who's trying to make his, you know, his trade in the game at Doncaster. Uh, he's played in the first team three times, you know, so he, he's he's good enough to come and play and you know get in the team. But 
you know, he, he we had his first training session last night, um, and he, he looked decent. So we were quite happy with Jack coming in. And then obviously we, you know, I think for a long time, but since Johnny Margaret's left, the mm-hmm. club have been missing a centre forward, and it, it, that was the main priority for us to try and get one in. And we we were struggling at one point, and then we had a you know a conversation, and Liam's name popped up. And, uh, you know, we we managed to get him in. It was right on the dot, I must say. It was very close to being too late. But uh, we managed to get him in and, and we're very pleased because obviously he's a proven goal scorer, you know, and he always has been whatever he's been. Mm. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, when I saw the news about Liam Hardy, I was like, yeah, that's a, a very good player to be bringing in at this point. So, yeah. uh, so you've got two games at home coming up then over... Easter weekend, uh, obviously very close together. So Saturday, you've got Marine at home in the league, and then that's followed on Bank Holiday Monday with a, well, Derbyshire Derby at home against Ilkeston Town. Um, how important are those games going to be just to try and get some momentum back in the club? Because I know it's been a tough season for the Gladiators. It's not quite gone to plan, uh, to say the least. But this these couple of games, I guess gives the opportunity to just add a bit of enthusiasm back amongst the whole fan base for the rest of this campaign? Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Uh, the main thing is to get good performances. Good performances usually have been good results. At times you don't get what you deserve. But um, I think the main the main part is, you know, that my time at Matlock, they just wanted to see a team give 100%. And if they gave 100%, they would, they would live by any decision, you know, any any result that you get. And I think that's what they need to do. We need to get the players up and running. Last night we trained. It was very good last night. The, the training session, you know, was was great, really. Very enthusiastic, like you say. And uh, that's what we need. We need a bit of energy, uh, a bit of desire. And then they, they're they they're good players. You know, they, you can see they've got talent in them. And they need to bring that out. But, you know, the next two, I mean, Marine's a tough game. They're third in the league. They're very, very well, you know, you know going forward, they're very strong. They have a, they're very direct, so we're going to be uh, have to be able to defend properly, which they haven't done in the last few weeks. To be fair, so mm. it's something that they're going to have to be able to put the bodies on the line to stop stop these crosses, stop shots going in. But they can do that, and that's that's where we're going to find out, you know, who's wanting to really come along in the journey with us. Mm. Yeah, it should be some very interesting games coming up then this weekend. And uh, what what is the 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 does yourself and Adam Yates have a target? the end of this season because of course I think only one more win guarantees that Matlock will still be in the NPL Premier Division next season but do you have a target like in terms of points or a, a position for the end of the season? No, I, I think the main thing is just to make sure we're, we're in the in the league next season. I think that, that that's the main part that we've, we've got, just got to get past. And then I think it's a case of, you know, just trying to get as many points as we possibly can, but but playing football the right way. You, you know what I mean? I, I'm when I was at the club, we, we we tried to play football the right way. We tried to move the ball around quickly, you know, crosses in the box, you know, and things like that, and be entertaining. And I think that's what the fans want. And if we know if we know we are safe, we can play entertaining football without any pressure on the on the players' backs, which I think has has got to them a little bit. Okay, and uh, just finally, Mark. Um... <laughs> What what is the situation for next season? Is it just a case of get to the end of this season? Obviously, hopefully, Matlock have finished in a decent position and it's gone well, and then sort of discuss with the board or the chairman what might happen for next season. Is 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 that the case? Yeah, I think there's a conversation to be had at the end of the season. Put it that way. Um, you know, we're here now just for the eight games. Me and Adam are going to do our very best to try and get as many points as we possibly can and get as far up the league as we can. Uh, when the season finishes, there will be a conversation between both of us and the club and then we'll, we'll see what happens from there. You know, So we can't really say any more from that. Mm. OK, great stuff, Mark. Well, uh, fantastic to see you back at Matlock Town. Obviously, it's been a little while since uh, you were previously at Causeway Lane. I'm sure it's going to be a really big crowd uh, for the game against Marine and at Ilkeston Town too. So all the best for your Easter holiday games. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it'll be a fantastic return to the club for you. And uh, yeah, say hello to Adam Yates for us because we love having him on the show (laughs) as well. So uh, thanks for your time, Mark. Thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. Cheers.